In order to take your YouTube branding to the next level, you need to create a custom YouTube watermark. This will allow you to add a subscribe button to your videos, which will help boost your channel growth. Hey YouTube, it's Lucas here from Snappa, and today I'm going to show you how to make a custom YouTube watermark so that you can add a subscribe button to your videos. Make sure to stick around until the end of the video because I'm going to show you how you can use different shapes for your watermark as well. Let's get started. The first thing you need to do is go to snappa.com and sign up for a free account. Then scroll down to custom graphic size, type in 150 pixels by 150 pixels, and click create. This is the best size that YouTube recommends for your watermark. Now that your canvas is open, you can click on the backgrounds tab to set your background color. Feel free to choose any color you'd like, but keep in mind that darker colors may be harder to see on your video, so it's best to go with something more vibrant, such as red, or in this case, I'm going to choose blue because it matches our brand colors. Next, you can add a logo or an icon. If you want to add your own logo, you can click on the graphics tab, select uploads, and upload your logo image. Or, you can also click on the Icons tab and search through the huge library of icons that Snappa offers. For example, you can type YouTube in the search bar and add a YouTube play button to your watermark. All you have to do is click on an icon to add it to your canvas. You can also change the color of certain icons along with resizing and repositioning it. Now we can add some text. Just click the text tab in the top left and click here to add some body text. You can then double click the text box on your canvas and type subscribe in all capital letters, and you can drag it down to reposition it. Using the toolbar on the left, I'm going to shrink the size of my text, and I'm also going to change the font. I recommend choosing a font that is fairly bold, so that it'll be easy to read in the corner of your videos. Roboto Black is always a great choice for a clean, bold font. You can then change the color and make any final adjustments to the size and position. Once you're finished designing, you can click the pen icon at the top to rename your graphic. I also recommend saving to avoid losing any progress, and then you can download your watermark as a Retina JPEG for the highest quality and best results. The next step is to upload your watermark to YouTube. Make sure to sign into your account and then you can click your profile picture in the top right corner and select YouTube Studio. In the menu on the left, click Customization and then select the Branding tab at the top. If you scroll down under Video Watermark, you can click Upload and choose the file for your new watermark. And after that, YouTube will give you a quick preview and you can click Done. Now that it's uploaded, you can choose the display time for when your watermark subscribe button will appear in your videos. Most YouTubers will choose a custom start time of 30 to 40 seconds, but feel free to choose any option that you like. Next, just click publish in the top right corner to save your changes, and you can play one of your YouTube videos to see how it looks. When a viewer hovers their mouse over your watermark, they can click subscribe. Alright, so let's say that you don't want your watermark to be a square. There's no need to worry because you can use other shapes as well. Go back into Snappa and create the same graphic size of 150 pixels by 150 pixels. But this time, instead of changing the background color, just click on the Shapes tab in the top left and choose the shape that you want to use. I'm going to click on a circle for this example. I'll then drag the corners to make it a bit larger and I'll change the color as well. Lastly, I'm going to go to the Graphics tab, select Uploads, and click on my logo image to add it to my canvas. After adjusting the size, I'm going to rename my graphic and save it. Now this next part is important. When you click Download, make sure to select Transparent Background, and then click the Retina PNG Download option. You can now upload the watermark file to YouTube, and see that it looks great as a circular subscribe button. You can also experiment with other shapes as well, such as a rectangle or even a hexagon. 
Now that you know how to design your own custom watermark subscribe button for YouTube, you should definitely explore Snappa further to design images for your other social media accounts. We have tons of design templates for YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, Twitch, and more. All of our templates are free and fully customizable, so have fun creating. Well, that's all for today's video, and as always, remember to like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.